name is Dennis Hong. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering and the director of Romela, the Robotics and Mechanism Laboratory, also in Virginia Tech. At Romela, we do development and research on many, many different types of robots, from rolling, crawling robots to chemically actuated robots. And these days, we're focusing on humanoid robots that can do real useful work. We're probably best known for our uh, humanoid robot, Charlie and Darwin. These are, Charlie is the, considered as the United States' very first full-size autonomous humanoid robot. And uh, Darwin is a miniature version of uh, Charlie. Uh, we use these robots for many things, for research and education, but we also won RoboCup. It's an international autonomous robot soccer competition. And for the first time, we brought the uh, Louis Vuitton Cup trophy to the United States. For most of our robots, we use Maxon Motors uh, for their reliability and high performance. Maxon Motors are, of course, well known for their precision motion. However, not only for precision, these days, for leg locomotion, we scientists and engineers are starting to realize that compliance or springiness in the joints uh, play a very important role. Currently, no actuators really mimic the characteristic of biological muscles. However, even in these applications, we use Maxim motors because we can add a different type of um, hardware and software uh, compliance into it. So we actually develop new type of linear actuators that mimic the characteristic of biological muscles that use Maxim motors as well. So by using Maxim Motors, it gives us the flexibility to investigate new applications that no one has looked into before.